this is Jamie Magrich. Welcome to Jamie's Craft Table. Today I'm going to show you how I made this card. Let's get started. It's a lot, it's mostly die cuts. It's lighting the way for the sentiment. It's a little bit from here and a little bit from there. Sentimental Park dies. I'm using one of the labels. And I think that's it from that one. Oh, I think these flowers might be from there too. Okay, lighting the way. I'm using this die here. And this is seasonal branches. I'm using the branch. And the leaves. The centers here is also from the uh, um, Sentimental Parks, I believe. Okay, I'm also using the Fern 3D embossing folder. Two and three eighths inch cir circle punch. A half inch strip of white to stamp our sentiment on. I've already die cut this out of the um, this is the new yellow. What is that called? Lemon lolly. Okay, this is Knight of Navy. It's four and a quarter by five and a half, and I've run it through the for 3D embossing folder already. Something on it. But, okay. And then I have my card base, which is five and a half by eight and a half, scored and folded at four and a quarter. We can go ahead and adhere these two together, and then we'll do all our die cutting. Use the glue of your choice. I like the wet glue because it gives me a little bit of wiggle room. to make sure it matches with the fold because I can always trim the other edge. Okay, so that's good. We can set that aside. Now we're gonna, I'm going to bring in my uh, die cutting machine. plate one cutting plate I tend to use the same scratchy one on the bottom and flip it over regularly and my non scratchy plate or less scratchy plate I should say we're gonna run that through Most of these are probably going to be cut out. It's perfectly fine. But I need to make sure this other one is before I take it off. So let me find my wool here to put those in so I don't lose them. Take the die off. Well, I think it's already cut through because it's popping right off. So that's fine. Okay. Take all of our little pieces out. I'm off screen, sorry. So I'll just leave that one in there for now. Okay. And this is um, white. The white paper. Okay. So 
So now I'm going to bring this piece in. Oh, I have more die cutting to do. I'm going to put that away. I'm going to cut the gold pieces. Okay. Again, let me turn it this way so you can actually see. Let's see if that helps. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I got that. Let's put our list plate on. Does it have a bow? Uh, maybe a little, so let's turn the plate over. Okay, now I'm going to cut out the gold piece. And this just barely fits on here. It's a scrap. I didn't measure the size. Just take a piece that's the size you need to do your lantern. Okay, put your top plate on. And this other one is uh, flower centers. this time. So I'm going to get my take your pick tool. Gently poke it out. Okay. pieces. Okay, then I've got a little bit of stamping to do, not a lot. Just need to stamp a sentiment. I'm going to bring in the sentiment. Thanks for lighting the way. I'm going to bring in my memento black ink. those little flag ends in there, snip in the center, and snip from the corner to the bottom of that line you just snipped. Depends on how deep you cut that snip, how deep your fishtail is going to be. I like about a quarter of an inch. Okay, so that piece is done. All right, so now we can assemble this card. We have all of our pieces. So let's bring in the card base. We're going to bring in this piece here, punch out all these little extra pieces out of it. I should have cut this one out prior. Forgot it had all these little extra pieces in it. They cut out fairly easy. This takes a little bit of patience. Not that much. I should have done it prior. But forgot to, didn't think about having to cut all these little things out. I'm just running my nail over. 
over and they're just basically falling out most of them but the, just poking them too also works okay get all these little pieces into my trash can okay now oops we have our yellow circle and we're going to tuck it in under these flowers just a little bit like that okay so we'll, which flower I think I have it going this way okay and I'm going to take my little lantern this is going to tuck under there as well just on the bottom and then this top is going to tuck under there just these little flowers there okay so now you could glue those down if you want or you can leave them up ungl unglued it doesn't really matter they work just fine either way tuck this in this way a little bit more there we go Okay, so I think I'm going to just take my glue. I'm just going to stick a little bit of glue underneath so that they stay put. But it's, again, it's really not necessary because they stay pretty well. And I've got too much glue. See how it oozed out that crack? I'm just going to dab it off. glue under this side. Try to not use so much. All right. Now this is going to get glued right to the center of our card. bring in those flowers and two of those little gold cent centers I want the circle ones because there's like a triangle one I want the circle ones I'm going to put one of the cir circles in the center of each one of these flowers two of those leaves and my stem I want the stem to go right about here so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the base of it go ahead and set it down I'm going to take the larger flower Put it over here. Like that. And the little one will go right next to it. Now you could have used a dimensional for this one, but I didn't. I put everything flat. A bit different this time. Okay, then I'll we'll glue down these little leaves. Glue dots might be easier. A little less messy. Now I might add a couple more leaves. I am going to since I have them. Well, they're sticking to me instead of the paper. Here. Why not? 
bring that die back that has that fifth one in it. Pop it out. Do one down here too. Okay. And then let's just go ahead and glue our sentiment on down here at the bottom. we just made together. Here's the one I did previously. Well, thank you so much for joining me today at Jamie's Craft Table. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I hope you can find a little bit of time to play with some stamps, ink, and paper. Bye, everybody.